This sermon was downloaded from www.spiritnerds.org. We equip Christians with thousands of strategic spiritual materials daily. Join millions of Christians around the world who have come to Spirit Nerds to learn about God and His Word today. If only you can shut in with the Holy Ghost, even your mother will say, this is not the child I get better. Yes. If you can shut in with the Holy Ghost, you will just discover how different you are from your generation. If you can shut in with the Holy Ghost, you will know that in the Holy Ghost, He determined that you will be unique. You don't need to know. You are already unique by yourself. And the more security you find in Him, the more willing you will be to accept the uniqueness that you found in the Holy Ghost. Because in the Holy Ghost, we are not the same. Are you there? We are not the same in the Holy Ghost. When I began to swim in the Holy Ghost, I now found out that what the Holy Ghost is doing in me, the, one of the things he's doing is that he's teaching. He's building capacity. Nobody taught me how to teach. When I began to know the Holy Ghost, the ability to teach came out of my knowledge of the Holy Ghost. Your true self is locked up in the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, no man knoweth the things of man save the spirit of man which is in him. So your things will come out of your spirit. It is written on your spirit like the genome of your chromosomes. The genome of your chromosomes is what determines your complexion. What determines when you start having white, white hair is already encrypted with the writings of God. When you find the Holy Ghost, you will see your uniqueness. You will not need to do anything to be different from anybody. You will just know that you are different. When I found myself in the Holy Ghost, I realized that I, the Holy Ghost in me does not only teach. The Holy Ghost in me wages war. Now, you, you see, you see, you see, hallelujah. Like the way I see pastor is a gentleman, see his wife, so gentle and all of that. I'm not like that. As much as I respect her, I respect him. The Holy Ghost in me wars. He's a warrior. Maybe before this conference ends, maybe you will understand it. He wars. He fights spiritually. You will need to find yourself. Say, so, so I'm not trying to fit into the good books of men. I, I leave out the story he's telling through my vessel. Because your life in the spirit is a story that God is telling from him. In this day of social media, people want to make comments about everybody. That, hey, you know what? Oh, so, so because of the comments they're making about you, you are trying to establish decorum. It, you, it's a betrayer of who you are in the Holy Ghost. If what they are commenting about, maybe positively or negatively, is influencing your performance, your alignment, it means you're already falling. So you might think that you're engaging a man, but I have the resources of God at my disposal. So in terms of performance, I can perform like God. The only thing that I bring to the table is called alignment. So sometimes I will need to fast for 200 days to achieve alignment, to know where God is, to understand the present revelation position of the Spirit. That's the only thing I bring to the table. I'm not creating any new thing. I'm not manufacturing something. I'm just trying to align with the resources that are available. This alignment huh, might lead you into the wilderness. May you not be in the city center when the Holy Ghost is driving you into the wilderness. Because God is spirit, you can miss him the moment your spirit is not in tune with him. It is only your spirit that is wired to be able and calibrated enough to be able to explore him. So we are supposed to explore him as astronauts explore space. How much of him have you explored? That's how strong you are to prosecute destiny. 
Your destiny did not come from government house. It came from heaven. You will need heaven to prosecute your destiny on earth. All, all, the, all the demons of hell will fight you because of that destiny. If you don't understand the context of your spiritual warfare, then you are not wise enough for life. Give me volume on that, you know, instrument. Oh my God. We explore God. Have you taken time to explore Him? Have you, have you, have you ever said, okay, I'm going on a fast from January and I don't know when I will stop. When I will stop is when He shows up. You will think that you are wasting your time. Okay, go now. You, it's after 10 years you will find out that you, your head starts in the flesh was actually delayed. It was a covenant with delay that you, that you caught. The way of speed is the weight. The challenge and what we bring to the table is alignment. Sometimes in order for you to find the rhythm, you must keep quiet for seven days and walk around the wall just so that you can find the alignment. As long as you are not aligned, you are naked. Man is nothing without God. It's nothing without God. It's nothing without God. So in my family, nobody will tell you, nobody will give you any law. But there are many unwritten laws. The first is, don't marry from another tribe. Nobody would say it's wrong. But the moment, if you are going to do it, you will do it alone. So there are already roadblocks that are determined to ensure that you cannot follow the liberty of your spirit. But nobody will enforce it. But the day you say you want to step out, then you'll find out that you are the only eagle under the sun. You will never be alone if you are working with the crowd. If you want to fulfill destiny, even your own will trust you up. So if you are not at home with the Holy Ghost as your friend, because Adam was alone, Adam was not lonely. You are going to be alone, but you must learn how not to be lonely. That was where I learned how to pray. Because I knew that my help was not, not in the hills anymore. I, I didn't need to look to the hills. My help was within me. And the only way I can find the help is alignment. So I will tarry. I will wait. Until, you know he's a king. If we are dealing with Ogugu, you can, it's a servant spirit. You can send it on a run. Throw an enchantment. Can speak some enchantment and say, Go! It will go. This one is a king. Your tears cannot move him. Even your prayer cannot move him. He will move when he wants to move. So you must learn the protocol of waiting. Wait. If you don't know waiting, it means you still believe you are in charge. And he will, he will teach you. He will, he will clear your doubts in 10 years time. It is when you are faced with a problem that is orchestrated from the realm of the spirit that you will know that your PhD degree that you got from the University of Lagos counts for nothing. And I don't say this to insult your, your effort. I'm just saying you are still helpless with the best of education. And for your information, I have a little education myself. You want to get a promotion in the office? I'm talking about where I came from. Ah. You will need power. You will need power. It's not, don't make noise. People make noise. You will need power. Because the people that are contesting with you for the same opportunity, they have power from darkness. Satan has blessed them. Except, except you are going for something that is not significant. If not, you will meet Satan on the way. You will meet his people. In the eyes of Jesus, in order for you to prosecute natural life, he claims that we need power. He said, these signs, we follow them that believe. Because as you travel on that path, you will meet men that have power. <laughs> so I began to learn alignment. How to wait on the king. How to wait on him. Fasted. Began in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. August 1, August 2, August 3, August 4, August 5, August 6, August 7, August 8. 
He now speaks to me and says, I see that you are praying. I say, what do you, what do you mean by it? that you see that I'm praying? You see, I was not disciple, I was not taught. The moment you begin to pray, you begin to make effort, eh? And you are doing something like fasting and praying. He will set a time that he will visit you if you will continue. It can be nine months, three days. Nothing will change it. <laughs> I, I, I hope you know he has a calendar. His calendar. His calendar of visiting every man. There is a schedule of visiting every man. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? He has a schedule. Nothing. Your prayer cannot change the schedule. If you get tired and you don't arrive at the schedule, you will walk in darkness for another cycle. Oh. Oh. We pay the price of alignment. And I was not told. I was not told. I was not told that if Jesus wants to encounter you, if Jesus wants to visit you, the first thing he will do is that he will dispatch angels to come. I, I was not told. So there are four angels that began to come to my room when I entered into September. You know what? I stopped the fast. I continued with the angels for five years. I began to do miracles because I understand their ministry. I know how they communicate. I know what when they come into the place, when they want to do something. I know, I know. I work with them for five years. But when I started the fast, it was not angels that I was seeking. I was seeking God. It was after five years, you called to me. What's wrong with you? It was this what you were seeking. Then I started fasting again after five years. Just like I, as I'm speaking now, those angels have come. Two of them are here. I want them to be four. Wait, I want them to be four before before I will start. I move with them. I saw miracles. Saw signs. So wonders. Then you called to me that this was not what I was looking for. As you are seeking God, many things will begin to appear. Prosperity will appear. Then if that's what your soul wants, you will veer off. And you will never be brought before his majesty. The people that told you that the goal of the gospel is prosperity, they spoke through the voice of Babylon. Mm. Oh. Prosperity is a byproduct of alignment. It's one of the proofs of alignment. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he layeth his hands upon to do, it shall prosper. His alignment is a proof that you are in alignment. It's not a goal, it's a byproduct, it's a sign. I saw me down the a candy he said. Teach us alignment. Teach us alignment. And show us how you make a little one a thousand and a small one a strong nation. Mm. Yes, I small. He said thy later ends shall greatly increase not by the power of man but by the power of the Holy Ghost of the living God. It's our time to find him to gain alignment so that the little one will become a thousand 
your capacity must be fulfilled your ordination must find expression you will need to mount up with wings mount up into the heavens when you find your power with God you prevail yeah yeah Babala. <laughs> Esco filamenda lata, iga men solia amamai. Iga men sele barwa, a felia skedo bende, iko skido boko saminale. Ei, ei, sanimo ria bakeso. Oh, Talaberi Makoria, Escubi Macanteli. Yeah, yeah. So falande ele keria. Kofi sasonde ele bakuria. Me ziko me babreskete me robe na ike me stande boboria ama katesi ama santalia ama meka bondeke asiko branda baboria amande kuria salabale. Oh, yelele ma, yelele ma man. Yalalama, Yalalama, Kobelina Laya, Suvela Bokoma, Brai Sele, Brai Macadebo, Brai La Suka Mela Isco. Anana Yabo Sele, Yalamama. Ama masai la boma Ika mene la ma Jesus Jesus You were designed to walk with the capacities of God And your daily confession was ordained to be It is not by power It is not by might It is by the spirit of God for this is not the work of man. This is the work of the Holy Ghost of the living God. I will not be naked. I will not be naked. For my life in the spirit is a story that God is telling from heaven. I will not be naked. I will not be naked. Call of mercy. Pokori mala. Escomba mi asele skiso man. Para no mi seba. Para no mi makayandele. Para no ni aseko baminala. I asobele kedo bosi. Amandeli. 
aya sande babori aya kelimo koria bansalata ika membo konde ya loboko semi natalia sande babori kasante ya labon sala ya la kade babori asika bai kambemina bai kasababoria bai kasomina sasala Ata bon sekatia eko ba manatala ika sama konda aka bresko ba bayato bebo kan bebo kan sala baboria eskadi mala eskadi ma bokora ai la ba 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 se ela bo seminandel bo bo to one shall become a thousand. Oh, yelele. Yedu bambo kose mahane. Broke sama na kadia. Yeko skane. Yeko mambalase. Eko skedo branda baboko dali. Ay kanda. Ay mesaka bambo laya. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. name.